Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make some 3D shapes in the P5JS web editor. First, we, I'm going to tell you about function setup and function draw. Function setup only runs once, while function draw continuously runs. In function setup, we have create canvas, which creates this canvas where you can put things on. We have 400, 400 width and the height of this canvas. And we want to add another parameter called WebGL. Now this will make what we code 3D. It has to be with a comma and then capital case WebGL. Now the, what we have to do is now make our shapes. Let's first make a cube. To do this, we'll write simply box. And we'll give the size inside round brackets 100. We will then use the play button to run. And you have this, though it looks like a square. So we need to somehow rotate it. First, put let angle equals to zero. You need to have the equal to zero. Otherwise, it will be not accepting numerical values. And you'll, ex uh, you'll have an error. You have rotate x, y, and z. To do this, you do it like this. You just simply like uh, ro rotate x, say angle, save, and c. Though it's the same, because zero is already default. So we didn't really do any difference. To do this, we'll use angle plus equal to 0 0.01. We'll save and do this. And we can see we've got our cube. Now, you shouldn't write like x, y, and z. Otherwise, what will happen is it will give you this error. We have to write another rotate x you can write rotate x angle and we can remove this to see what happens first rotate x does this as we saw before rotate y does this and rotate z will do clockwise. Now we want to now make our box rotate in many rot uh, x, y, and z we want to say. So rotate x angle. Let's see what happens now. Wow, we got this. Next, we'll have rotate y angle. Now we have it rotating in x, y, and z. You can tinker with these values as much as you want. What happens if we want a sphere? We just simply write sphere. And wow, we've got a sphere. But if you think about it, both of those shapes are actually quite dull because there is no color. The simplest way to put some color into your program is write normal material.
but this works a lot better for things like our box. For the sphere, it doesn't even look like it's moving. For the box, it looks quite cool, the effect of the colors changing on the sides. You can also try putting multiple shapes together like our sphere. Hundred. What happens here? Now, since our sphere is bigger than the box in its radius, it will be over the box and we won't be able to see the box. So we will reduce this to 50. Or we could even reduce it to 70. You can really try any value you want. And wow, we've got this amazing effect. Like there are some parts sticking out and out of holes inside a box. When it's actually a spear and a box covering in it. Amazing. Now, what can we do else? We can put even more things, like a cone. Try 90, or 10, 90 in FD4. Okay, now what is this? We can't see because of all of our other shapes. So, to stop these, if you want to keep the same line of code, you can write commenting with slash slash forward slash forward slash forward slash forward slash okay now let's run our program now we've got our thing but it really doesn't look like a cone to me does it now this is more like it we've got a pyramid though it would be a lot more shown without that normal material now we can see the lines going between and connecting the shape So we can have this f uh, for making more sides, like if you wanted nine. And now we have nine. You can put as many as you like, but at one point there will be so many that it will appear as one round. And here we are a cone and it looks quite conical to me now let's try adding in everything we have learned together and let's see if normal material might give an effect wow we have our own shapes and using these same simple blocks you could make your own things you could even make not just random ones but you could make some things like an aeroplane, a satellite, who knows what you might make. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye!